<laughs> Were you thinking you needed to get a finish there, Miami <laughs> Sammy? Yes, sir. Sam, over in the front. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the victory. I guess, what are the emotions now? Uh, we saw right after the win, your coach, uh, Safe, was running around picking you up, yelling, underdog, underdog. <laughs> so what are the emotions now? Man, it feels good. Uh, I don't actually don't mind being the underdog. I make uh, a lot of people a lot of money, so I'm happy. Uh, I know uh, my boyfriend told me he put a grand on me, which I wish he wouldn't have told me that, but he owes me a very good dinner. I'll tell you that much. When did he tell you that? Uh, <laughs> Like a couple days ago, I think I was like a plus 400 or something like that. So I was like, I love it. I love it. We got to, we, ha we have to talk about the first round. How close were those those rear naked chokes that you got? Those chokes were deep. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, but um, coach gives me great advice, as everybody knows here. Um, if I'm in a bad position, fight to get a good, to a good one. And I'm not a quitter. I'm going to continue to fight and fight and fight until either the curtains go out or, uh, you know, I get out. Um, so... I'm not going to tap. I'm just going to get out of that position. So, we could also hear your corner out there, like they were yelling, like she's gassed, she's gassed, she's exhausted. How, like, going from the first into the second, the beginning, could you just tell right away that she was out of it? Yeah, I knew the chances of me winning were going to double and triple if I go into the second and third. She's every uh, every fight that she's been in, she's gotten out in the first round. Um, so I knew she wasn't gonna, one going to be used to my pace, and two, um, my gas tank. So uh, that just is my like ace in the hole. I'm going to play that until you know, till I meet somebody else who has a gas tank like I do. So uh, the final one for me, I guess, when do you want to return, and like how, how what do you want the rest of your year to look like? Oh, that's like? up to coach. Um, I uh, I'm always going to say yes, and whatever he says goes. So I'm just you know, he's the pilot, I'm the co-pilot, and we're just running this plane um, until we can't anymore. Or actually, no, until we have that belt strapped around us. So yeah. Okay, so obviously you know the last two. Two rounds are clearly yours, but I'm wondering if you were thinking, oh man, was that first round potentially a 10-8? Could this be a tie? Or were you convinced that you're like, no, I've got this? Um, yeah, part of me uh, thought it could be a 10-8 round, but um, you just have to keep going and keep fighting um, and make that second round the best you can be and the second or the third round the best it can be. So um, I knew uh, the pace that I was putting on her, and um, she looked like she was in a lot of trouble. She looked like she was kind of drowning. Um, in the second and third round. So I just knew I had it, um, whether it was a 10-8 or not. Your gas tank is obviously very good itself, but when you see your opponent clearly withering, right, in the third round, you know, her legs are so heavy, does it just almost amplify what you've already got? Yeah, it does. Um, it's kind of funny. I uh, fought her teammate, Estella Nunez. Um, in, in that fight, I saw Estella um, take a very deep breath. And, and then I knew I had her. And then after coach said, um, in this fight, She's gas, she's gas, she's gas. I was like, okay, okay. Now my confidence is ramping up, ramping up. So it feels good. Um, you know, cardio is 50%. Um, and coach always tells me that. So um, it's, you got to manage the controllables. If you can control cardio, then by God, you should be fucking working cardio like a madman. Um, and that's what I do um, every single day. Did he teach you the F-bombs that you keep dropping tonight? Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Sorry, coach. <laughs> You mentioned that uh, in the camp that you really ramped up your wrestling. Did you, is that where you felt like for this particular fight, or is that just something in general that you thought that you really sort of needed to, to bring up? Yeah, you guys saw in the Pierre uh, fight that uh, I got taken down, um, I think, five out of ten times. So I worked with Charles Bird, um, and he just told me, that, hey, you got to be defiant. you got to have a little chip on your shoulder. Um, and just don't let be – be mad if somebody takes you down. Like, be really, really upset. So I had that chip on my shoulder, and I got taken down twice in the first round, which is my mistake, you know. Um, but again, I'm just going to continue to work on that. And for the five months after the Pierre fight, I just worked wrestling and wrestling and wrestling. And, you know, Monday, I'm going to go back and work wrestling and wrestling and wrestling and continue to grow and continue to get better. Um, and, you know, I deserve to be here. Um, and I think I proved that tonight, you know, in front of a crowd, in front of everybody. So uh, I'm happy to be here. I love to fight. This makes me so happy. Um, so I'm going to continue to do what I do in that octagon. You know, kind of playing off that, you know, there were times where you got to the ground where obviously that was probably where she was more dangerous out, out, out of the game. You could kind of hear your coach saying, stand up, stand up. But is there a part of you? 
that wants to show the growth, wants to show any, the impression, you know, that you've improved and stay down there and maybe finish her on the ground? No, I have no ego in there. Um, if coach is telling me to get up, I need to get the fuck up. Um, but uh, she was stronger than I was thinking. Um, she was very strong, um, had very good head control. Um, so when she wrapped the body lock around me in guard, it was very difficult to get up. And I'm not going to use that as an excuse. I should have gotten up. I should have done the steps that I needed to do to get get up and get out. But um, yeah, she was she was a lot stronger than I was expecting her to be. Um, but that's okay. We're just continuing to work and continue to grow. And last thing for me, was there a lot of hands in the gloves going on out yeah, there? It seemed yeah, yeah. Like we were hearing and seeing some of that, but we couldn't quite make it out on the TV. Yeah, definitely. It was kind of funny because in the first round, she uh, I heard her yell to the ref uh, that my hands were in her gloves, and then like, the, and they weren't. But um, then after that, she kept putting her hands in my gloves. So I was like, well, maybe if I don't know, I don't know what her thought process was, but. Definitely, they were in there, um, so that made it a little bit more difficult. But it doesn't matter because I'm not going to use excuses. I just need to work, and I just need to get to a better position. Back here, over here. Oh, yeah. oh. Hey, how Hello. you doing? Congratulations on the win. Uh, you're improving fight after fight. You can see the improvements. Uh, what's next for you? Do you want to stay active for the remainder of the year, or what's next for you? Yeah, um, my mom always said. Uh, Idle hands are the devil's playground. So I love to be active. I just want to keep training. I just want to keep fighting. Um, as active as coach wants me to be, that's as active as I'll be. Um, but I'm going to continue to be in the gym every single day. Um, so whatever that means. Um, I know that he's going to talk to Mick, and then we're going to figure out what's next. But I'm just happy to be here. There you go. Yeah. And with your with you winning your boyfriend so much money, what presents does he owe you now? <laughs> what are you entitled to? Uh, a lot, all of it, probably. All of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah one hundred fifty percent of it. Definitely. Awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Three out of four, boys. Three out of.